been a while since we used it. Okay. Welcome people to Bitcoin Live um, with Andy Thank Leon. Leon. Uh, Andy, um, it's really great to see you again. Uh, welcome back to the show. It's been a long time. Could you perhaps introduce yourself to our audience who aren't familiar with you yet? Hey, hi. Hi, Bitcoin Live and everyone. So uh, my name is Andy. I'm now still stuck in Singapore. Um, so I'm more known for my work for the uh, government in terms of uh, blockchain adoption and uh, cryptocurrency uh, regulations. You know, so that is something that I have been doing uh, very actively for the last uh, two years. So here I am talking to all of you again, man. I'm like I said, I'm always online on uh, Twitter. You know, you can always uh, say hi, and I definitely respond. You know. Yeah, that's uh, what we have been uh, seeing uh, going on uh, on the Twitter page. I think you also uh, are um, working together or working for Huawei. Is that uh, true or uh, did I uh, oh, no, imagine? No, that's, uh, that's Hyundai, Hyundai, Hyundai. Hyundai, Hyundai yeah. yes, yes. I'm still the uh, advisory board member for Hyundai DAC or, or we call it Hyundai DAC. So they are yeah. a very uh, known car manufacturer brand in, in, in the world, I guess. So yeah. those are those, those are those are good man, good good brand names, uh, good work done and so forth. So how how have you been, all of you? Well, um, <laughs> yeah, we have been really busy uh, with growing Bitcoin Live. So uh, I think last time we spoke, we were at maybe uh, two thousand subscriptions on YouTube, and um, we're now at eleven thousand. And uh, Twitter has grown a lot, but more importantly, we have met a lot of uh, different people in the crypto space and in the NFT space. Um, and we have done, yeah, I think more than 150 interviews uh, since then. A lot. I don't know. <laughs> a lot. So maybe sometimes five to ten a week yep. um, next to our job. Uh, but uh, it's sort of a job, but then the job that you chose and you love. Yeah, it's uh, fun so, doing. Yeah, it's really fun. And we learn uh, new stuff every day and try to get the knowledge out to uh, people who are interested or are new to the space and try to help them along. And it's really great meeting people like you, uh, yeah. you know, people with a lot of background and experience and knowledge uh, in this space. So we learn for free. Yeah, we online. basically have... So where yeah. we can ask the questions ourselves. That's really <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's really, uh, yeah, we're really happy to have you back on. Um, so, um, and you're very knowledgeable also about regulation. And uh, we were also wondering how um, how regulation is at the moment, for example, in Singapore, but maybe in Asia, uh, or maybe if you have like a broader view of the um, of the crypto scene, maybe also over here. Um, I think um, there, are, there are a lot of uh, new developments in terms of uh, work done in the crypto space on the regulation side. Um, I yeah. think there are a couple of things that uh, you know we, we, we could have missed out. You know, um, so there are actually a, a new DeFi uh, regulation that is uh, uh, done up by the South Korean government um, a couple okay. of days ago, I, I, I believe. I think th those are exciting uh, developments um, in the crypto space. Like I've mentioned in uh, some of my other interviews and also keynote speeches. Um, I have said very clearly that the governments are trying their very best to look at how they could, uh, you know, uh, do up certain form of regulations in in the in the space for the decentralized finance uh, 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 market. And uh, South Korean being the uh, forefront and the for maybe maybe the leader, you know, in in, in some of this yeah. uh, development, you know, came out with that paper. You know, I, I will not bore everyone with the details of the paper. Uh, it can be found online. And um, other than that, I think many of the, uh, the, the, the governments are taking a short break from, the, from this early 2021. Um, many of them are still trying to uh, sort out a lot of um, these uh, COVID-19 issues that are already in the market. Uh, fiscal policies and and and, and um, um, a lot of uh, central banks and even the stock markets are all very busy, you know, with uh, uh, yeah. the the very recent uh, Robinhood app and 
came so <laughs> and so forth. So I, I guess uh, as of now, in terms of regulations, the more exciting one that I've seen would still be the South Korea uh, DeFi uh, paper. Other than that, I, I think things are rather quiet. I mean, it's the same as, as for myself. You know, it's a bit, it's still a bit quiet uh, for 2021 because um, I have stopped uh, a couple of uh, consultations with the government in uh, uh, December last year. So I, I'm also yeah. taking a very short break, you know, uh, for the last uh, 31 days, um, trying to sort out some of the some of the other companies that that I've, I, I've invested in uh, in the early 2000s and so forth. So maybe give you guys a, a very um, uh, a good heads up, you know, and also something that we can work together, you know. So 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 my yeah. my, my journey, if you can see on LinkedIn, is very much uh, talking about. Um, my career and so forth. Very few mention about the uh, entrepreneurship or even uh, my investments. Uh, um, you know, on, on LinkedIn. You know, if you if you Google. So, um, so in the early two thousands, you know, I, I started uh, media companies and uh, sold media companies as well. So I, I do hold some really valuable domain. You know, one of them is called smexy.com. S M E X Y dot com. I think you guys can. Can take a look at it right now. It, it, the name sounds sexy, very artifacty in a certain manner. Um, I I wanted to see if we could uh, work out something on the N NFT space. Um, okay. Because this this brand itself has been around, I think, in two zero zero three. Um, yeah. You know the brand has gone through tremendous uh, changes from uh, the earlier days, which is a communications company, uh, events company, into a a destination management company, and the last five years, the brand is actually loaned out to a uh, private private label designing group where they come out with fashion brands uh, with Smex. And it was S M E X Y. S M E X Y. S M E X Y dot com. You could uh, share with your guys as well. So I I, I wanted to do something which is uh, more NFT like. Uh, if if uh, Jen and Nick, you guys are keen, you know, let's 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 work on something. Because I, I felt that this is a good brand. It has gone through a long journey, and um, that that's number one. That's one thing. Um, apart from that, I think in my earlier days, you know, I I have also um, uh, started a uh, airfare uh, booking platform, um, mini referral yeah. base. It's called worldairfare.com. Worldairfare.com. W O R L D A I R F A R E. So. This, this website, again, has been around since 2001, has gone through good traction in getting referrals online for um, uh, uh, airfare booking and so forth. Um, it has gone through a tremendous, uh, uh, well, I would say a downfall because of the COVID-19. So we have stopped a lot of these activities and are trying to um, reorganize this and make this into a more crypto-based um, uh, uh, airfare booking platform because, like I said, again, the the web space or the web domain itself is already worth uh, worth worthwhile talking about it. it. It has a nice name to it. It's uh, easy to remember, yeah. and um, I hope to create something more for the crypto space by introducing uh, maybe you know airfare at competitive rate packed to uh, a certain. Uh, to, to a certain coin or something, you know, so so you get the most comp competitive rates, you know, in the in the market, you know, from people like Trip.com, Expedia, and so forth. But you pack yourself yeah. to the uh, cryptocurrency. I think this these are some of the things that 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 I, I I'm working on. Uh, hope to find like-minded people to push this through because yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I always say this in, in your program as well. For the last uh, two or three times that we are on, you know, it's all about finding good partners and uh, working on yeah. things together. So Jen and Nick, this is an open invitation. Uh, come back to me. Um, let's let's work on something. You know, you guys are in the yeah. nice uh, Europe right now. You yeah. know, let's do do up something. So these are some Sounds of the things that, that, that we, we we are working on because because of my spare time right now, I'm on hand. I'm getting the team to to work on all these uh, various uh, 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 web web uh, websites or this uh, web business to convert them into a little bit more crypto. I think. I mean, I can just shower you with uh, one or two more. Uh, another one is called Pet Health yeah. Tips. Pet Health Tips. Okay. Com. 
P E T H E E A L T H T I P S dot com. Um, this website. We'll link them down, down below later. Uh, yeah, and and please send us uh, also in a DM all the sites you are talking about because uh, we because we are not on um, our normal platform. We it's difficult for us to switch between the screens. Yeah, and no, otherwise the the yeah. viewers will go insane. Yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> but so anyways, yeah, I would. I would love to uh, get involved uh, there, Andy. Yeah. No problem. I, I, will, I, will, I will send you some of the uh, some of the links, you know, like uh, you know, pet health and so forth. You know, it's something that uh, yeah. you know we, we all have pets at a certain point of our time, yeah. our life. And, and again, this uh, portal has been running since two zero zero five, and uh, I'm thinking of uh, doing something more crypto to it. And then, last but not least, you know, I, I also own this uh, really fantastic. Uh, a domain called uh, b3t.net so it's, it, it actually looks like bat b oh, wow. okay so b3t.net b, b3t.com is actually owned by another uh, uh, is another uh, 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 betting site but uh, i own the um, yeah the, the, the dot net you know we have been running um, um, this uh, betting related uh, projects you know in the early 2010 you know so yeah but anyways all of this have been have, have shut down for a while because of uh, uh various uh, um, uh various uh, reasons various uh, buy out and so forth but uh 2021 will be a year where i would uh try and re revive some of them um back to his original self man so lots yeah. of things to uh to work on you know from nfts to uh you know betting like kind of uh, uh, platform you know so let's let's do something together man yeah uh, awesome yeah, yeah i think uh, the nft space uh, is growing but it will exponentially grow in uh, 2021 yeah. and 2022 uh, so it's it's i think a great space to be uh, in and also what you told uh, about uh, betting and also travel of, of course you know travala.com um they are i think they own are only one of the few who are in that space and when the market opens up and the world opens up again uh, after COVID is uh, under control i think it will skyrocket um so that's very interesting to be uh, be yeah. involved in uh, yeah. definitely yeah. I'll, that I'll part of i will speak to one of the travelers uh, founders um soon and then perhaps we could uh, we could also do something together you know yeah, that, yeah I that would love sense. to be involved, uh, Andy. Thanks for thinking about us. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, awesome, Nick. Yeah, yeah. And also, um, with with traveling, how do you see that going forward? Do you think uh, we'll be opening up soon, or do you think it might take another year or or more? Think, <laughs> what is your uh, view on it? I, I think in order for the uh, whole travel economy or uh, the whole travel ecosystem to 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 uh, you know, go back to uh, the original uh, speed and pace. That could be a matter of three to five uh, years, kind of uh, matter. Mm -hmm. um, for shorter terms, in terms of um, uh, allowing people to travel, I think the earliest, in my personal opinion, would be in the uh, August to September period. Yeah. Um, right now, I don't think it will happen because of uh, various uh, political issues. Um, and also uh, var various policies in terms of traveling are not cast in stone on the global space. You know, there are also yeah. uh, some form of arrangement between uh, certain country A and country B. Yeah. Um, and those special arrangements uh, are also not something that is very stable. Most of the time, you know, the, you know when the number of infected cases rises, um, the yeah. real cancer, the arrangement. So I, I think right now it's still fairly early. Um, being optimistic, I think August, uh, September would be uh, a good time to start opening things up. And last but not least, it has also to depend on the uh, vaccine. Uh, right now, yeah. there are a lot of uh, controversial uh, topics around the vaccine and also the supply of uh, vaccine. Yeah. So things are very, very early right now. So, but um, then it's, uh, I think, the best time to uh, build yeah. build something that's mm -hmm. uh, sort of in line with uh, what Trafala does and then be ready for when the market opens, uh, that you are at the forefront of that, um, um, yeah, evolvement. Uh, yeah, and that would be, I think, that would be something uh, 
very exciting to work on uh, and be part of. But it's also exciting to hear that you're working in the NFT space. Yeah. Uh, and how do you see the NFT space develop this uh, this year and maybe the coming years? Uh, what is your view on the NFTs? I think an NFT space is uh, is growing very fast. Um, in fact, um, in my own uh, book, uh, uh, Blockchain Two Revolution Two Zero Three Zero, I talk about NFT uh, uh, and the rising of NFT. Actually, right in uh, in in Two Zero One Eight, you know. But back then, nobody really talked about NFTs. You no, know, nobody really talked about uh, how this is going to work. Back then. Um, uh, myself and a few other Korean professor, um, we have already spotted the trend that it is going to grow. So I think it, it is not a, uh, a uh, I mean anything by, by coincidence that it is growing. It is uh, something that uh, at least for our end is expected of. Um, also bear in mind that uh, you know there's also always a certain value tag to a certain NFTs. You know whether we are talking mm -hmm. about the NBA. Uh, cards, you know, uh, or we're talking about regular paintings or some other art artwork and so forth. You know, the the, the, the space itself got to maintain a certain uh, uh, a certain hype and also at the same time maintain a certain price uh, and a certain demand. Because right now I, I do see uh, many many um, uh, projects uh, popping up. You know, as an NFT uh, token. Um, the, the, the price, you know, sometimes I felt that, you know, the, the, the asking price for, for, uh, for an artwork is uh, relatively high, you know, sometimes. So yeah. I, I hope there will be some form of um, uh, uh, regulated pricing or some form of, uh, um, you know, some, 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 some form of uh, a mechanism to, to, uh, to uh, you know, but, to yeah. level up the price. Because but many also, of them, they can just jerk up the price and I come up with an NFT, uh, yeah. nice painting of you and me and then I, I, I can always put up uh, 10 BTCs for it and then I'm, I'm buying <laughs> it on my own and then I jerk up the freaking price and then yeah. <laughs> and then you know all these things are, are, are always happening you know in, in the space so I hope to see more transparent uh, uh, dealings uh, in terms of MS, uh, NFCs man and also another uh, related question is uh, you see of course ethereum explode and most of the nfts are built on ethereum and then the gas prices rise but also um the the price of the um, the painting or whatever it is it goes up goes up astronomical so yeah. how do you see that uh, develop like uh, do we have to wait for ethereum to calm down again uh, for prices to reset or uh, um well e ethereum tricky. has very good liquidity has very good followings, um, and of course, it, it you know it comes together with a certain price tag you know uh, right now. So my my take is this you know um, there are many different level of art, very very different level of uh, N NFTs you know in, in the space. Um, you know there's 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 nothing stopping you from switching to different chains, or or yeah. trying to do something. Uh, rather different, you know, uh, in this space. So, um, again, your question goes back to what I've answered previously on um, on, on on regulating the price because all this uh, artwork, uh, especially let, let's not talk about other stuff. So all this artwork uh, prices has inflated um, a lot because of the very uh, bullish market right now. Uh, to me, yeah. it's not sustainable. You know, if, if it is going to be so sustainable, what's going to happen next is that all the traditional artists will swamp into N NFT and, 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 and forget about, you know, what they are trying to do right now. But, but is this going to be a sustainable model? Uh, I'm not sure. You know? So um, I, I do hope to see some, some of these uh, uh, good, good projects uh, regulate their price and not overhype it because Ethereum's price went up because this is not sustainable. I know you have another uh, session, you know, uh, later later today. Yep. Um, you know, these are some of the things that you guys should really talk about in terms of uh, how, how, how they're going to govern the price uh, or are they going to come up with uh, that kind of general statement because, oh, because Ethereum has gone up, that's the reason why my artwork has gone up. This has nothing to do with uh, your artwork. You know, it's just no, this, this when, is, when, yeah. when, when US dollar depreciates, you mean my artwork is going to depreciate? You know, or is, is US dollar is going to go up? My artwork is going to go up. I think, I think if you are packed to a certain currency that has a certain 
um, you know that 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 is uh, more stable. You know, I, I guess it's okay. But if you if you come out with the reason like uh, like this, you know, oh, because I'm packed to Ethereum. Ethereum went up. My price went up. You know, it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Perhaps you can ask. No, me no, this it has to be price. something that balances it. So if if goes up ten uh, ten times, then uh, the price would automatically maybe through a smart contract. Uh, drop 10 times that it's balanced out against uh, or you have to use another chain like wax or something but yeah. the, but this is a hot topic because a lot yeah. of those artists are actually concerned about it uh, because they they like you say they're seeing the same thing and they know that their artwork isn't yeah, and they have to re reprice much. and then they have to pay the gas fee to reprice to upload uh, the new price yeah, to, so uh, for example rarible and that's that costs them a uh, handful of money and then their yeah, art because doesn't they sell do it for yeah. each separate artwork yeah. Um, yeah so so they're actually kind of worried about it uh, because they know they're losing a lot of customers um, because of it yeah and they have no control over ethereum itself so yeah so you see some people switching over to wax and other solutions and I think you've got some coins to manage the the gas price of ethereum by buying them in advance and then you can burn them there's, there's some there issues, has to be uh, some uh, form of yeah or um, regulation or reprogramming or something or you or switching to another chain for uh, nfts yeah because yeah. i think that binance is also working on something um what's what they don't uh, really explain yet on the binance chain but i think they're going to enter the market of the nfts and uh, come with a solution uh, and maybe create their own wallet uh, like a trust wallet uh, something yeah, like we that, usually yeah. use Trust Wallet yeah. for when it comes to art. Uh, it's yeah. very. Uh, but, but there yeah. has to be uh, there's something has to be done in that space because otherwise it will will not uh, yeah stay healthy. And also, of course, NFTs have uh, like a tremendous amount of different applications. I mean, uh, they can be used for almost anything. Could you give our audience some uh, idea about uh, use where cases? yeah where it might develop into? Well. The, um I think I think the the, the development of uh, NFTs, you know, has has a has a very long journey to it. You know, um, back back then, you know, we also look at how we could uh, use NFTs on uh, on these uh, housing deeds. Yeah. We we can also look at NFTs uh, in in a you know in a form of uh, uh, pegging to a luxury goods as well. So I th I think in terms of use cases, is not so. Um, I think it's not so important right now because uh, everybody that I know of, you know, they do not really care about the use cases. You know, they only care about how how the hype is going to catch on. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. which which uh, NFTs uh, or which token they they got to uh, put their money onto it. I think right now, if you look at the space itself, uh, even the artists themselves uh, are also looking at the value of their artwork. Uh, and 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 that's about it, you know, because um, 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 is is no longer about how 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 they develop the tech for a certain use case, you know. I mean, it's, it's quite sad to see that, but but also at the same time, I'm also very happy with the artists who are g getting good money, you know, from their from their yeah, artwork, that's, you know, that's you know, ten twenty Ethereum's, you know, just to. Just to uh, buy a, a digital copy of things and and, and so forth. I, I guess it's good for them, but um, it's it's not something that is going to last too long because um, all these private uh, artists, um, you know, they, are, they they got they, they got they got to do something to protect themselves and also protect those who have bought their artwork. You know, so yeah, um, it has yeah. a long way to go, man. Yeah, so, and what is very interesting what you uh, just said there, Andy, because um, it is great for the artists to, uh, especially the artists who are not already in a muse museum to sell their art for a reasonable price. Um, but on the other hand, um, the use cases of NFTs could have been already developed that you could use an NFT to enter a hotel, for example. Well, you or, see it with COVID. Yeah. I mean, a lot of projects are basically uh, creating NFT technology for regulating and tracking COVID cases. Yeah, but so, um, there are could have been done uh, way more things uh, like uh, yeah. you buy a car, a certain car, and uh, the NFT um, says that which type of car it is, what uh, what kind of emission it has. Uh, you could open it yeah. with an NFT or close it, or well, 
yeah, or could rent it out to your neighbor so he could could use it and all kinds of uh, cool stuff that uh, has a real w value. And uh, I think that you're right that it's um, a little bit grinding to a halt for for this moment or right. not. Uh, but and, and also, I mean, yeah, when you also, talk about no, no. NFTs and so forth, I'm sorry, Jen. Um, when you talk about NFT and so forth, a lot goes to the tracking uh, mechanism that is behind it. In, in theory, you know, the use cases, you know, the reason why I didn't want to talk too much about it is very, is very much similar to uh, what, what, what blockchain is, is supposed to do um, by, by, by its own, you know. So I think in terms of the, the tracking abilities, the uh, 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 tracing of um, uh, even medical records, you know, yeah. um, and, and, and the list goes on, you know, but, but those are not the exciting yeah. things that um, what our friends on uh, Twitter or even on, on your show uh, are, are very keen on because most of them, like I said, you know, they are looking at the price and when they are looking purely at the price, um, you know, this, this, this goes back to the artists where they try to create some form of value and, and, and that's the reason why there is a, a, a bunch of uh, inflated um, uh, a, a NFTs are, are, are out in the market right now. So yeah, whether it's, it's going to be healthy or not, I'm not sure, but I hope they can come out with a more sustainable ecosystem. And um, yeah, man, they, I think in the long run, they, 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 they will uh, earn good money. Uh, but right now, they got to find a way to uh, uh, justify the, the, the rise in cost in terms of uh, what Ethereum has done to them um, and how they can mediate, mediate that, that kind of risk for everybody, you know. So uh, how would you, how would you do that? Like uh, when you talk about regulating the market, how would you s see it done? What what would be like different kinds of solutions for for solving it? I think I think I think for Ethereum and so forth, you know, they have their layer two, their roll ups and so forth. Uh, I think uh, the, the the latest development team should should look at how you can fully utilize what uh, the layer two can offer. Um, that, that is something uh, 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 more technical, and uh, Vitalik himself has been pushing, and uh, and the community has been pushing. So, so that's that's number one. Number two, I also felt that there is also a need to look at other possible chains that they could uh, yeah. build this on. You know, so uh, Binance Smart Chain or even the OK OKEX uh, latest chain. Um, you know, some some people should should do something on it. So to develop the ecosystem, you know, so yeah. um, and other other than that, you know, um, I also talk about this with uh, another group of uh, techie guys is uh, to look at how to you to, to, to do a, a couple of uh, cross chain uh, like activities so that you do not need to pack yourself only to towards yeah. Ethereum. You know, you could also go, go go to anyone, you know, if you want to do it on Tron, you yeah. know, there's always a way to pair it so that you can be on Tron. Uh, you can be on BSC, you can be on uh, ADA. I think you know, the, the list goes on. You know? So, so I think it's yeah. about how you you manage your whole basket and uh, and do not be blinded by the huge liquidity that uh, that that uh, Ethereum can can offer. Um, because yeah. whenever there's upside, there's also downsides in 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 the later yeah. uh, you know in the in the later years or in the later months down the road. You know. Uh, you know, what if the Ethereum drops? You know, what if Ethereum goes up to 10 grand? You know, all these guys are yeah. going to be busted, you know, because because of yeah. the high fees that, that comes together with it. So for the Ethereum lovers, you know, uh, diehard fans of uh, Vitalik, um, you could look at what their layer two can offer. I, I do think uh, it is very promising, you know. Um, if you are yeah. thinking of something that is more long term, uh, you should also look at how you could uh, do uh, do this across uh, different protocols or, or bridge this, uh, you know, between between uh, new protocols or, or new new coins that would uh, help you in your journey. And last but not least, I think it's not about the price or, or the transaction price. You know, things like uh, chains like uh, Tron or BSC, the price is uh, low um, uh, right now. Uh, I, I, I think I think it is good you know for for us to to, to do some work on it but um, always remember you know it's not about the pricing 
you know, it's, it, yeah. it's about the whole ecosystem that you can build and yeah. a backup plan in, in in case, you know, some of this chain decides to change their, uh, their, their transaction policies, you know, so, so the backup plan that I, I've talked about, you know, in the option two would be uh, something more favorable for projects that intend to run for a longer time. So, you know, players like uh, 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 what Philips, uh, Solidbase, and, and all these uh, different auction house, um, they, they should look at, you know, if they want to participate in this space, they have to look at solutions that they can help to uh, 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 lessen all this uh, possible risk that, that comes together with it, man. Yeah, true. Otherwise, Ethereum uh, will end up like Bitcoin, like a store of value instead of a, a virtual computer. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've been thinking about that uh, lately a lot. So uh, I'm searching for the right platform to be uh, complementing uh, Ethereum or uh, displacing it for uh, yeah things we were talking about earlier. And yeah, I think uh, yeah that will be something for the couple of next couple of years uh, that Ethereum has to uh, um, work hard on or the Ethereum Foundation. Well, of course, they are updating to Ethereum 2.0, and you see a lot of those projects like Binance and Tron and um, and so forth. Matic. They're all building bridges towards um, Ethereum. Of they have been have built bridges, and of Polkadot, of course, yes. the side chains. Um, but this is interoperability is basically something we've been uh, saying since last year. It's all about interoperability. The whole space can only function when these all these blockchains start to be um, integrating and integrating each, each yeah. other. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, we totally agree uh, with what you say, Andy. And but but also I think yeah, at the moment we're like in the middle, of, well, at the start of a major bull run. Um, so I think all the change and all the projects they are kind of in the same boat at the moment. I mean they they all go up. I think right or am I missing something? I think um, I think um, this bull run is a, a little bit too long in, in my humble opinion. Um, started last year and I think it will continue to grow. You know, right now you yeah. can see uh, Dodge, um, you know, getting good momentum. Uh, a lot of yeah. other L coins as well are also gaining momentum. Yeah. So um, to 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 you know, not not a financial advice, you know, but um, I did tell my friends on Facebook um, that uh, you know the the way uh, many people want to earn more good money, you know, it's not just through Bitcoin, you know, because Bitcoin yeah. has become uh, a fair bit uh, too expensive for um, many smaller retail investors. So if 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 they are they have a higher risk appetite, you know, right now the L coins are. Are fairly reasonable, you know. If you go for the more stable ones, I think I think yeah. in terms of uh, putting themselves, uh, buying some of the tokens there, I think it's okay, you know, because uh, L coins has a lot of potential and money uh, yeah. floating around, you know, because BDC once is dominated by institutions, by corporate, uh, you know, storing in their treasury, you know, things will yeah. change because uh, you know, when it become a store of value versus usage, using of it, uh, the whole the whole theory will be very different because you will see fewer uh, uh, coins, Bitcoin floating around, uh, you know, your price would go up, but, uh, you know, but but by then your price would, would have gone very high, you know, so again, it depends on what, what individual wants, you know, in this bull run, uh, some good cash so that they could fund themselves in their daily lives, or they are trying yeah. to put a few million in and trying to generate out a lot more new funds for other projects, you know. So it depends, you know. So I, I still think that the L, L market, L coin markets are very uh, bullish right now. There will be other uh, uh, players rising up to the top, uh, you know, uh, in, in months to come if the, if the bull run uh, continue to be so bullish. And... Um, mm. And, and, and just just a, a note of caution as well, uh, if you are an, uh, a retail investor, uh, you've got to be very careful in terms of where you put your money and uh, how sure. you're going to put your money. Because um, in this bull run, when there are winners, there's definitely losers. And yeah. if you are part of the losing team, you know, you put on the wrong bet, uh, yeah. 
you got to say goodbye to, to to what you are doing. And 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 um, just uh, a few hours ago, I also got a uh, private message, and and now it's on 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 my Twitter feed that uh, you know there are people who who, who pre- pretends or, or or being very friendly to help you trade your tokens. Yeah. Uh, please yeah. be you know please be very cautious about this. You know. So this this guy I think is from India gave another guy. Five thousand dollars, and then that guy went disappear. Um, yeah. And, and uh, I don't know what what exactly happened, you know, because this guy claimed to have uh, millions of dollars and so forth, and he and he's gone. So so this is another word of caution to to many of these uh, yeah. friends out there, you know. Try not to be too greedy. Good deals that give you very good returns are not going to be very sustainable. Uh, all those scam projects uh, that that gives you like a hundred percent ROI in, in in a week, you know those those are mainly fake, you know, and all yeah. those uh, 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 trading pools that you participate on, uh, and 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 again, you know, those pool has no companies. They are the person talking to you, maybe 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 someone behind the keyboard. Yeah. You don't know who he is. So please do not give your money away uh, like what uh, uh, this uh, Twitter uh, uh, supporter did, you know, to, to, to his own money. So just be very careful about about what you're going to do. And, and all those very friendly people out on in, in the space yeah. might not be that friendly after all uh, when you pass them the money, you know. So just be careful, yeah. man, yeah. everybody. Yeah, yeah we do our own research, but that's true because I get those DMs every day and... They're working for uh, this this company and that company, and then and uh, ask a few questions. So, uh, uh, wh- where are you working from? Or what's the name of the company? And then it's all quiet all of a sudden. So I think uh, I always uh, say to them, well, it's not for me. I'm just uh, hodling my coins. So uh, yeah, go, and- go away. Uh, but it's it's good advice because some people f- see a coin uh, go one x or two x or even ten x, and then they think, okay, maybe it's someone from that company who knows something about that project. But there's no easy money. Even yeah. in crypto, you have to think, you have to have your own plan, do your own research, and only after months and months of research, you sometimes think, okay, this is a good company or this is a good project, and uh, I can invest a little bit of money with which you can also lose, of course. Yeah. yeah, you but sometimes see it you, as lost yeah. money. Yeah, that's the best way. To yeah. Say. Um, so, 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 yeah, don't use money that you need. Man. I think you got to trust yeah. the yeah. right party, and um, uh, talk to the right people because uh, you know some 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 of our own uh, friends out there. I think you and I know as well. You know, uh, they are promoting coins. You know, and when yeah. these guys are promoting coins, uh, he definitely wants something out from it, right? So, so you got to be careful on on some of the messages that they they place out in the. Uh, in the Twitter space, um, they got to be very careful uh, what they are trying to do and, uh, and and look at the underlying messages that they are trying to uh, you know send it to you because you have to understand where he's getting his money from and then yeah, yeah. how credible their words are. You know, I'm not sure about uh, your your show right now, but you know, all while all all along, you know, for all, for my end, uh, we don't promote any coins. You know whether 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 it's on my own personal account or with uh, some of the companies that I uh, that I have invested in, we never promote a, a single coin because what we do see is uh, that the value behind each coin uh, um, is is uh, is backed by a lot of hard work. You know, not because one influencer come out and say that hey, you got to buy this coin and everybody going to buy for it. Uh, that is that is not a very uh, sound. Uh, uh, advice or sound action to do, um, and 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 don't think that the, this uh, Wall Street bets uh, is is going to be yeah, the, the, the the golden rule ahead. You know, for for uh, for for retail investors to gather their firing power uh, uh, together, it, it's actually a, not a very easy task to do. Um, and uh, for myself, I do see that uh, this. This uh, recent week, you know, about uh, uh, yeah, Wall Street bets is, is, is very much um, it's very much a testing ground. You know, you just imagine, uh, you just ask yourself this thing. I'm not going to say too much. You know, a very decentralized coin called Dodge 
D-O-G-E, yeah. can be manipulated in a certain manner. And yeah. the price went up more than 100 now maybe yeah. 500 600 times now yeah. correct and, still, yeah. and it can go you know so you, yeah. you, you just imagine a very decentralized coin like dodge very early uh cryptocurrency that i used to own a lot as well uh it, it can turn to something like this overnight you know so whether it's decentralized or not decentralized the price can be manipulated so yeah this and a lot of people a lose a lot of money true, because of it true and a lot of people make a lot of money true. So <laughs> a few a few people make a lot of money yeah, yeah no, it's very dangerous true. yeah and it's also not very good for the space because um uh, other media can also use that story of doge um uh, to Too say tarnish. yeah to to say this industry is still not ready for main adoption or Correct. Um, yeah, it can be discredited in that way, and of course, Wall Street uh, has ha has happened the same thing with uh, last week. But it's not very good for the space. Uh, I, I, yesterday, I saw one of those um, uh, bets going on for Com Komodo, and I just tried for the fun of it. I tried put fifty dollars in there, and I thought, well, I'm gonna lose it. So I put it in there, wait for one hour, sold it for one hundred and fifty, and then went out of it. But it's not good advice because you never know when it is going up or going down and when it goes up it goes fast but when it goes down it goes even faster yeah. so, it, so this yeah these are like not very good classic pump and dumps yeah. which we also saw in the previous bull runs and you see a lot of those telegram uh, apps and uh, other places reddit uh, where they kind of promote a coin and say we're all gonna buy it and then it goes up and other yeah. people fomo in and then they'll they'll dump out. it but yeah on the other side it is a like a completely unregulated free market so these things they happen and then they crash but on the other side of the coin is like a regulated market that is that they just pull the stop and yeah. you cannot get your money out or trade and you can only go short because some centralized party in the middle an intermediary says uh you're not allowed to yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're we're gonna stop the trading so it has yeah, there's both sides to the coin, um, but uh, w but what what is good advice that people should be very very careful of yeah of of buying into uh, something that's uh, being uh, being blown up with some money that you ca you cannot see where it's coming from and you cannot see when it's going out and then uh, most of the time the retail investor will sit uh, yeah and pay for the for the bill. But yeah, yeah, and of course, uh, yeah, we have a lot of those scammers also on our side. We block people constantly who try to say, yeah, we made a 10x and we did this yeah, and that, it's and terrible. if you follow that person. YouTube doesn't uh, do so, much about um, that uh, thing, so yeah. you have to try to regulate it yourself. Yeah. But it's very hard on and Facebook as well. Uh, and obviously, we, I think it's not easy. But I also want to uh, add on uh, a certain point that I've mentioned uh, uh, previously. Um, uh, regarding you know uh, how a decentralized coin can be uh, can can be uh, you know manipulated in this way, this is also a lesson uh, uh, sending out to everybody out there that you know um, decentralized is not everything. You know you have no. to learn how to um, navigate yourself in this uh, decentralized environment. As long as you have enough money, enough people, things can change. So. Um, yeah. Two things. One is, uh, you know, this is also to tell everyone that uh, who have been telling me that uh, Bitcoin cannot be manipulated. This is 100% wrong um, because yeah. uh, if Dodge can be done, Bitcoin can also be done. Uh, of course, and it has been if, done. If, if more people are holding them to the treasuries, well, that is a way to stabilize things. But, you know, what if the treasury guys also let go? Of their Bitcoin, yeah. right? so so I'm not I'm not giving any uh, uh, professional finance advice, but I'm just trying to caution everyone mm. that uh, such yeah. things can be done. And also, on another hand, you know, all these uh, friends of ours who have changed their profile picture to the yellow hair, uh, <laughs> uh, um, yeah. uh, friend, yeah. you know, from uh, Wall Street bats, you know, I, I think yeah. I think um, in some ways, you know, from a more uh, a more marketing professional uh, like myself, I, I, I felt that um, it is actually a very bad uh, uh, relation, you know, 
uh, or link back to the crypto space because I felt what they have yep. done uh, is uh, is not the best. Infecting us. Correct, and and we should not be putting, uh, put you know, and trying to tell people, hey, this is this is a good thing, man. I changed my profile pic to a yellow hair guy, and uh, and uh, you know that that is that's a movement that I I want to uh, put forth, but. But the underlying messages and, and so forth are actually fairly negative, uh, in my yeah. opinion. So I, I, yeah. I also hope to reach out to some of those guys. You know, uh, there are a couple of them uh, as well, friends. They have really changed their profile picture, uh, you know, to, to support the movement. But I, I felt that um, it, it is not the right kind of support for, for the crypto yeah. space. So let, let's, let's do what we need to do um, to stabilize um the, the space the market. and do some good work uh, uh, to it as well. You know, all these um, manipulated uh, acts uh, and, and different movements uh, are there every day. You know, um, we we should not encourage uh, such uh, such behavior um, in in a very uh, uh, young space like crypto. Man. Yeah, I I totally agree with you there, Andy. I think it's a very important message. I um, uh, sometimes look at their page to see what uh, what they're what they're up to, but they also delete messages, so uh, they are they're not going to take responsibility for all the people and uh, companies who get hurt when they follow their advice. Uh, so it's it's very dangerous and it, it's not very good for the market in the long run. I think. No, uh, totally. You're right. You're right. Also, I have a, 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 a different kind of question, but maybe also related. How do you see um, the the court case against uh, Ripple going? Uh, do you have like an opinion on, um, yeah, on that Ripple? on the lawsuit? I think yeah. I think I put up a very long post on yeah. uh, on, on yeah. the Ripple XRP some days uh, some weeks ago. Uh, I think my stance still remain as as it was. Um, right now, I am very sure that they are not uh, a, a security. Uh, the behavior and the transactions behind it, are, uh, it, is, it, it has nothing to do with a sec uh, securities uh, right at this, this point. You know, but um, what they did previously is something uh, rather subjective. You know, they got to get a good lawyer to put up very good defense with SEC to uh, put their case up. So um, in, in terms of uh, XRP, because uh, XRP has been a very old coin, uh, it has yeah. been functioning on its own um, for many years. So whether or not uh, Ripple uh, get charged or not, or, 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 you know, or dis decide to disband Ripple at the end, you know, worst case scenario, I think XRP itself will still continue to be circulated in the market because of the... Uh, uh, decentralized uh, uh, and also the distributed uh, supply that is out in the space. I think it will continue to grow on its own. Um, and, and that is also a good thing for, for a coin because uh, the legacy goes on even if the uh, company uh, go bust. So that, that's point number yeah. one. Point number two, I think uh, many people would think about uh, XRP's uh, uh, price uh, uh, in, 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 in the near future. I think uh, all of us should uh, look closely on, um, on, on the SEC case and uh, look for updates. Because uh, yeah. as of now, I don't think XRP's price is going down uh, anytime because they are also backed by very strong uh, institutions, yeah. uh, backed by many different groups that I know of as well. I don't think the price would would, 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 would drop drastically uh, unless you know there are some new news that comes out that is going to push the price down. I, I do know um, uh, there are there, there are people who are who are still very bullish about uh, XRP. Yeah. Um, they will continue to support it because uh, they built a business around it, and um, and I think as of now, it is still considered uh, fairly bullish for, for XRP. So we just got right. to look at how the outcome uh, and, and the various updates, you know, from SEC uh, and, and, and their law team, you know, and their uh, law, law, lawyers, you know. Uh, once you get any form of news, you know, then you will determine uh, what is the short term fate for, for XRP. I, I do hope XRP can still continue 
and if if we can really go decentralized uh, without the company, I think that is also going to be a very good thing for the space. Um, yeah. As yeah. for the two uh, the the two gentlemen who is being uh, named on the on the lawsuit, yeah. uh, God bless to them because uh, I don't exactly know how the transaction went, you know, and how sustainable or how legal it is at that point of time to have uh, done something like this. So God bless them, they had to find their own way out from this. I hope this will remain as a civil case and nothing criminal. Um, yeah. And and if it's going to just be just a civil case, most likely X amount of money would be able to solve this issue. So uh, I hope it stays at, at civil and don't overfight the case and turn it to a more, more criminal case. And then there goes the two gentlemen, man. Yeah, yeah. I I followed your uh, Twitter feed uh, on XRP, and I, it's what I believe uh, myself. And I'm uh, for the long term bullish on XRP because it has proven itself in the space. It's fast. It works really great. Um, and like you say, the market is already fully developed. Yeah, regardless there are big of players uh, backing it from Japan, from uh, yeah. Great Britain. Uh, I think in Asia. Correct. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we've used it a lot. It's, There's it's always uh, this uh, post uh, on, online that also puzzle me. You know, they they would they kept saying that oh Japan, Japan uh, 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 things uh, already said that this is not a security. You know, but but yeah. I also want to also tell everybody who is on this live feed right now that Japan says yes, it doesn't no, or yes, it doesn't mean SEC from US is going to agree with Japan, right? So, true, true, true. Yeah. Yeah. so you got to be very objective in terms of uh, uh, trying to, you know, trying trying to, to share all these messages out in in, in, in a Twitter space because uh, many of them, or many of the, these uh, followers and supporters, you know, think that oh Japan say yes, yeah. no, uh, or, or okay no, means that the uh, SEC will say no and it's going to be bullish. But these these are wrong no. wrong information, no. misinformation that's yeah. out in the space. Um, and 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 to be honest, I think all the all the rest of the XRP uh, uh, community they should uh, remain quiet and uh, just continue to build on their business. Uh, and 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 that's it. Because whatever that they try to do, you know, I, I saw some guys trying to also sue XRP. Uh, another guy trying to sue SEC. You know, all these movements are redundant because um, it will not do anything to help the company. So no, it's yeah. best to to uh, remain um, just remain quiet, you know. Like what uh, I think Brad from X XRP uh, and Chris from XRP, they are quite they are, they are quite quiet about about this. And I felt that this is this is a good move. Um, any loud movements and and loud protests from their end would just make things worse. And like I've mentioned, True. keep it keep this as a civil case, and uh, that's it. Yeah. You know, there's no need to uh, go into um, going to big fights and, and SEC digs out more no. more more possible no. dirt from, uh, from 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 XRP and then we could just say goodbye to it, you know. So just just stay calm yeah. and uh, handle this as a lawsuit. You know, you can go up to a, a couple of years, you know, for for this to to settle. Let it be, man, because uh, life goes yeah. on. Mm -hmm. Your money is still in their pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's uh, sound advice. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, we, we also saw the UK saying it's not a security, but like you say, if the SEC rules differently, uh, the SEC ultimately, ultimately has a lot of, lots and uh, lots of power yeah. also yeah. outside of the, yeah. the states. Yeah. The only thing is, yeah, maybe XRP can still function outside of America. Uh, I think it will, but yeah, good advice. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we want to thank you yeah. for being on and we should do this more yeah, often. And, um, <laughs> Andy, please send us the links of the companies yeah. and um, uh, websites you talked about so we yeah. can uh, uh, look into it. And we would be happy to uh, collaborate uh, in any way uh, we are we can. And yeah. I see a lot of potential in the, in the projects. Uh, yeah, but yeah. also the travel space also, uh, which you were yeah. talking about. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'd love to help uh, in any way that we can. Sure. Yes. And we I hope to talk to you soon, uh, Andy. And we want to thank you for uh, yeah. all the work, hard work you do in uh, crypto. And, and also uh, about regulation and yeah. all the people you speak and talk to. You have been uh, uh, building uh, a lot of uh, bridges, I think, for the crypto community as a whole. And some people don't see it, but we do. 
So we want to thank you uh, uh, yeah, for all the work you have, have been doing. Yeah. Thanks, man. Jen, thanks, uh, Nick, for the kind words. And i um, always happy to uh, jump on the call with uh, you guys and also with uh, your community. Um, always happy to do that. So if you need anything, just give me a buzz. You know where to get me. And uh, to everyone else, uh, please continue to stay safe um, because of COVID. And then also yeah. try to stay safe and away from all the different scams that you see on Twitter because uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, scams <laughs> that, are, that are in the market right now. You have to caution yeah. yourself and, and put yourself away from all these guys because they will keep haunting back you know, once you start replying them. So just stay away from all these scams and uh, keep yourself safe. Keep, keep your money in, the, in, in, in a good space because uh, this, um, this, this uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, sort of a down, down, downfall is not going to end uh, too early. Um, so spend your money wisely, invest in the right products uh, yeah. if, you, if, if there's a need to, and then talk to the right uh, uh, people online uh, so that they can give you proper uh, advice or, or, or proper information uh, to help you through this, uh, this, uh, you know, this period of time. I, I just want to add a little bit more. Um, you know, I, I've, I have a lot of uh, different, uh, my, my DMs are open, as you all know, man. So I have a lot of different messages that comes in. You know, many of them um, say that they are jobless right now. You know, things are very yeah. tough. You know, some of them, of course, they beg for money and so forth. I know I, most, most of the time I will ignore those, but some of them that have been constantly talking to me you know, started to tell me that, hey, I'm, I, I'm now supporting uh, XYZ project, you know, just like, for example, and uh, they, they, need, uh, they need me to help them, you know, help them to post something, or they need uh, the, 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 the marketing team that I invested back then to do some work for them um, and, and, and create some magic. But I, I also want to let those guys know, uh, those guys with a dream to help to build projects, yeah. you know, they are community leaders, or they are they are they are like they are mean and so forth. You know, all this work is not a one day's job. You know, you if you want mm -hmm. yeah, you have to keep particular up. XYZ coin to go up, you know, you have to work hard for it. You know, yeah. work hard as in not only yourself, you know. You the whole team, the real team got to work very hard to make sure that the value of the product is 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 there, you know. That's that's number one. Yeah. Number two, the whole team must be real and work together to make sure that you get a certain value out from this. Um, and, and last but not least, um, you know, not all exchanges uh, are, are, I mean, I mean, not all exchanges that you list on will give you very good returns and results. So um, there's no need for you to list in so many exchanges because after all, you have to do your own uh, you know, the team itself got to do a lot of uh, uh, back-end uh, finance adjustments or, or, or like we say, market making and, and sort uh, yeah. to, to make sure that there are, there are good flow of tokens or a good flow of volume that is in the space. So if your project is going to be small, uh, you may, might not have enough or good funds to back you up. You know, try yeah. not to list in so many places and, and please, you know, we, we can't do magic, man. So we can only no. give you good advice what you should do next. But uh, whatever what, what, whatever you are trying to do, if it's, if it's not enough, you know, your coin will not go up in terms of pricing. You know, don't, don't, don't dream on too much, you know, on, on such matters. Just be very realistic. And uh, the, the realistic self of you would uh, bring good fruits um, in, in the later months where when um, the COVID-19 uh, uh, disappear. Outbreak disappears or, or lessen or reduce. So please, man, uh, all, all these uh, guys out there with a good dream, you know, work with the right people. Don't support yeah. projects that are rubbish. You know, if every if every 24 hours they only have less than $10,000 of volume, then forget about it, man. And if you search yeah. the, 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 the project and, and the search result came out lesser than, than when you search my name, 
then I think those guys are even worse than worse than me, man. So so forget <laughs> about it, you know. So I mean, I'm not. I'm just quoting an example. Not don't don't search me, man. I, I don't think I'm that searchable. But but what I'm trying to say is, um, you know, use that kind as a common sense and as as a backup to 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 uh, to see where your time goes go go to because time is also yeah. money you know if you spend True. bad times good times all your time on a on a bad project and do not get any returns and they give you some shit token uh, in in return you know and and the token is going to be locked up for five years then you know there's a problem right they are just trying yeah. to get free labor so exit scam so so please you know yeah. uh, all, all the community guys i know you have a lot of followers from philippines indonesia sri lanka and so forth same same on my end you know yeah. make this uh, a, a a good announcement you know do not be tricked by all these projects to 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 tell you that you know they have a big dream everybody has a big dream but can they fulfill and uh uh, uh, keep your deliver. life. I, I don't think so. You know? yeah. So please yeah. uh, do your own due diligence. You know, if you need any form of uh, uh, sound information, give me a, a DM. I would try my best to answer you. But I think uh, the few points that I've mentioned re with regards to their volume and uh, whether they are searchable, you know, would be a very good yeah. uh, starting basis to know whether or not you should put your time onto such a project. Please. So. Uh, spend your time wisely and uh, follow the right people and uh, stay safe, everybody. Thanks very much, Good Andy. Good really advice. enjoyed talking to you. Uh, Thanks, we'll buddy. make uh, maybe an appointment uh, via DM yeah, to should. talk more about uh, the uh, project you told uh, at the beginning of the show. And um, yeah, thanks again for being on and uh, for supporting the crypto community. And we'll try to do this more often, but yeah. s the early morning times are sometimes difficult. Uh, Especially for <laughs> Nick. <laughs> And the point about time, Andy, that's very important because yeah. time, um, time is money, but it's yeah. also the one thing you cannot replace. So the time that you spend on a project that won't go anywhere or is a scam is totally wasted and you cannot turn back the clock. Well, and also in these trying times, um, it's, it's, if you lose the time yeah. spent, uh, you might never get it back again. It's like yeah. uh, one shot. Correct. So Correct. yeah, so thanks so also for the advice. So do, do the right thing, man. Everybody who is on the show right now, do the right thing. And um, if you need anything, just give me a, a DM. You know, just don't beg for money or beg for tokens. Most of the time, I'll apply. <laughs> you know, I yeah. you know, and don't don't send me those uh, rubbish pictures and uh, uh, this uh, what hundred x uh, investment opportunities. You know, I, I will not reply. So God bless everybody. Thanks. Take care. Thanks, Andy. Have a great day. You I'll too, talk man. to you soon. All right, bye, Nick okay. and Jen. Bye. Wish bye, you a nice Andy. day. Bye. Take care. Thanks, man.